Hey guys, I am back again. I wanted to show you, as promised, how to hook up this Meanwell power supply. This is Meanwell RS100-24. And uh, we're going to hook it up to this Sure Amplifier word board, um, which is a Wandom board. <laughs> and it is model AAAB32178. Now this is the uh, actual power supply that they recommend for this particular board so let's show you what we're going to do we're going to just take a power cable that would typically go to a computer now i have two here and the reason why i have two here is because i'm going to show you uh what they should look like and what some don't look like now i am actually going to hook up i am going to actually use both of these and i'm going to hook these up uh typically if you look at this particular one, see it says L, N, and it's got that weird symbol. Weird symbol stands for ground, L stands for live, and N stands for neutral. If you take a look on power supply, it says the same thing. Live, neutral, ground. Okay? So we want to use a three-prong uh, power cord, which would hook up like a normal computer power supply. Any of them will work as long as they're three prong. you do want to use a three prong okay what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the female end and we're going to cut the female end off down a little bit so that we can see where the wires go hopefully we can see where live neutral and ground and which one is which if not we'll use a multimeter to test that out. now same with this one except this one uh oh no markings so we're going to show you how to figure out with the cord which one is which. So first thing we're going to do is cut the cords. Alright guys, so we went ahead and cut off the end. Now if you see there's a white, a green, and a black. Now for those of you who know electronics, typically the white is going to be neutral, the black is going to be live, and the green is going to be ground. It's how a typical power cord works. I should mention before you cut this, which I did not mention, but I want to make sure that we're very clear. Before you cut this, make sure it's not plugged into power. Okay, this, this should not be plugged in. Um, now having said that, this is how it typically works. Black is live, white is neutral, green is ground. However, we don't know that for sure, so we're going to test it with a power supply. I'm sorry, with a multimeter. So we went ahead and cut the end off this, and we have three cables, black, green, and white. Uh, this side you're not going to be using, but I want to show you that you have black, green, and white. Take a look at this, black, green, and white. Make sure that when you're cutting, do not have this plugged in, okay? I put a note down there, but I, I just want to make sure you guys realize, if you're ever working with these, don't plug it in until you're you're you have everything hooked up and then then you can plug it in now if you know electricity then you already know this but just in case you don't black in electricity is live uh, that means that if you touch the black one that's the one that's going to shock you okay uh, if it's plugged in the white is neutral and green is ground and so that's how we're going to hook this up the black one's going to go into live, the white one's going to go into neutral, and the green is going to go into ground. Here in a second, I'll hook that up and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright guys, you see it is plugged up. Green goes into ground, white goes into neutral, live goes into live, or black goes into live. And... If you notice the light's not on, nothing's on because I haven't plugged it up yet. So now we're going to follow your cord down. We're going to look at all the crazy cords that I have plugged in and we're going to plug it in. And once we plug it in, you see the light has turned green. Now at this stage you're probably thinking, okay, we're done. Well, that would be a mistake. We're not finished yet. The only reason why we're not finished is we don't know what the voltage is that's coming out of this. Anytime you have a regulated power supply, you have this V plus and this V plus is a regulator, which regulates the amount of voltage. Now for us, we want about 100 watts. So 100 watts is gonna be about 22 volts for us. 
and so we're going to regulate it to about 22 volts. The reason how we know that is it's about 22 volts and this lets out four and a half amps. 22 times four and a half is about 99, okay? So we're gonna do 22 times four and a half. Um, and we're gonna try to do 22.22 if we can. Um, we'll, we'll see how accurate we can get it to. My, my multimeter is not the most accurate, so I'm gonna get it close to 22. Give me a second and I'll show you how to do that. You are gonna need a multimeter for this part. All right, guys, uh, I have them plugged up in both a positive and a negative. And if you look, voltage meter says 24 volts. And so we're going to turn this, let's move this closer, actually. All right, so we're going to put our screwdriver in here, and we're going to turn it. And as we turn it, see it's going... Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, that's why. This is not actually turning. Hold on one second. All right, guys, I went ahead and regulated it down to 22.2. .2. I had too big of a screwdriver, but if you turn it, it's going to go up or down based on which way you turn it. And right now, I'm turning it counterclockwise to go down. So right there's 22.2. .2. And we take 22.2, .2, you get about 99, which is going to be right there at 100 watts. Um, and obviously, you you know, 22.3, you know, wh wherever you want to get in there. But I, I'm going to just put it at 99. You're, you're not going to miss that half a watt. And uh, that's it. So it is now plugged up. You have it regulated to your 100 watts. Now all you have to do is take your positive and negative, which I'll show you next. And you're going to run it directly into this amplifier board. Now this amplifier board, here it is as a VCC and a GND. The VCC is the positive and the GND is a negative. You may notice that there's two VCCs and GNDs. If you wanted to plug it up here, you could. I'm gonna plug it up here. And I have a little bit of 14 gauge wire. I have actually some 16 gauge too, but I'll probably just use the 14 gauge uh, wire for this. It'll make it pretty easy. Um, and that's that's it. So here in a minute, I'll plug that up and show you what that looks like and show you that it's working. All right, guys, I went ahead and plugged this up. If you see, we still have our live neutral and ground in. We have our negative and our positive in. This particular wire has a wire, a uh, white line on it. That white line I used for negative. It doesn't really matter as long as you remember that the white line was either negative or positive for you and you plug it in the corresponding one. So negative equals ground on the board, which is on the other side, and VCC equals positive. If you see, we have a green light on this one and we have a green light on this one. So we know we have everything hooked up properly and now all we'd have to do is hook up our speakers to it and we have a hundred watts to put at the speakers or 50 watts per each speaker that is for ohms with this particular board all right thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and as always if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask